What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a maybe like a scientist that like makes up like those like potion thingies. Like they, they mix like chemicals together. Or maybe a veterinarian. Or maybe even a police officer. first grade, Jake got glasses. And he came to me and he's like, Mom, I'm scared to wear them to school. And I was like, you're not scared to do anything. Why are you scared to wear your glasses to school? And he's like, well, I'm kind of scared that people are going to make fun of me. So after school, I go and pick him up. I'm like, so how'd it go today? And he's like, I had one kid make fun of me. And I'm like, well, what'd you do? And he's like, I said, hey, it's me, Jake. We played together yesterday and I'm just wearing glasses today so I can see better. It's really not that big of a deal. And I'm like, well, what'd the kid do? And he, and Jake was like, we just went and played together. And that was the end of it. And that was the only thing he ever heard about him wearing glasses was from that one kid that one day and it was just taken care of. It's hard to describe Jake. <laughs> Jake is like, how do you describe Jake? The first thing I noticed about Jake was his hair, man. His brilliant locks, dude. <laughs> and his glasses are always sliding down his nose. And he has a unique style too, which I think that is his own. Kind of like loose style with his gender. He'll, he'll rock like, a blazer and jeans and, you know, Converse and, like, a hot pink sweater. Not all girl clothes, just some girl clothes. I only wear, like, the tights or just a, a pair of girl shirts. And I, and I got a new favorite color ever, hot pink. I think Jake's style would be um, investigative. He likes to uh, see the world and make it his own. It's everything. Everything that you see, everything that could possibly be colorful and put together and put on him is Jake's style. Jake, just like any kid, is just as likely to walk downstairs in just his underwear as he is to be dressed as Iron Man, as he is to be dressed in a skirt, as he is to be dressed in shorts and a t-shirt. Jake wears just as much, uh, like, boy clothing as, like, as uh, girl clothing. As a seven-year-old, I'm amazed that he has such confidence in who he is. He already knows who he is, you know? And I feel like I'm still trying to figure out who I am. Uh, Jake is Jake. Jake style, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Jake is who he is, and, and I love him for it. Sometimes if I wear, like, full girl clothes to school, I think I might be, be like, mistaken as, like, a new student or something. 
Gender nonconforming is a word that we use to describe people's behavior that doesn't fit in with our expectation of how they should behave according to the gender they were assigned when they were born. Some parents are really alarmed about the gender non-conforming behavior of their kids when they see their little boy consistently wanting to wear a princess dress. Some parents get really upset. They wonder about well, is he gay or what did I do wrong? Many cultures in the world have celebrated gender non-conforming people. Over 130 Native American tribes have words to describe people who inhabit two genders. There is one tribe that believes there are no less than four genders. All kids like pretty things, they like shiny things. It's not a gender thing. It's a, you know, shiny thing. Jake used to put on my friend's high heels all the time. He used to walk around in high heels and like do little fashion shows and stuff. And it was never a big thing. And it, he just kept doing it as he was growing up. loved pink and I assume that just came from his mom liking pink. Then it was, yeah, it was nail polish and then he wanted to grow his hair longer and not cut it. Then started wearing tights and then I guess he asked his mom for a dress at some point in time and it was like the only thing that she kind of held off on for a bit being like that's it's a definite big leap to go from wearing tights to school or ballerina shoes to school, and then it's a big difference wearing uh, a dress. It's a good skirt. It's comfortable, stretchable, so I, you don't have to worry about size. The look of it, the little bow, it's the best skirt I ever had. It took about two years um, before Jake, you know, really was like, you know what, this this is what I want, you know, when it comes to, to dressing, you know, more femme. I was waiting for him to kind of have a better understanding of who he was and how he felt, and um, you know, so that I could I could help support that. I want him to be able to positively react in any situation. If a parent has a child who is strongly expressing themselves in a way that doesn't conform to their gender that they were assigned at birth, I would suggest that they support that child in expressing who they were and in being their authentic self because the research tells us that that's best for kids. I hear people bring up the word like transgender um, or homosexual or uh, transvestite. Um, as far as what Jake is, like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't define, and I, I don't think normal parents do define their kids. Like, oh, here's my son. He's heterosexual. As long as he's safe and he's fulfilling himself in life and he's happy, like, that's, that's what I care about. I don't care about the titles. So I get asked a lot, did you want a daughter? Really nothing more I can say than this is, this isn't, this isn't my deal. This isn't my thing. She doesn't influence him. She just doesn't force him to be a boy, to act like a boy. And anytime you kind of squash a child in what they're bringing to the table and who they are expressing, it's, it's going to affect them. A lot of parents wonder if their child's behavior or their child's gender identity is just a phase. And what we know is that transgender kids are persistent and consistent. Having long hair is part of me being unique and being a tom girl and just having fun. Having fun being yourself.
even though if some some kids don't 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 believe in you and like bully you, teach them a lesson and say you're just being yourself. Your gender identity is who you feel you are inside in relation to being male or female. And your sexual orientation is who you love and who you're attracted to. And those are two separate things. The gender binary refers to, uh, it's sort of a black and white way of looking at gender, male, female. And what we know is there are so many other ways to be in the world and so many other variations of gender. I became interested in gender non-conforming kids because I have one and I realized after having this child that was behaving in a really um, non-traditional way that there was a lot that I didn't know. So many people have surprised me in, in the way they are able to rise and accept my kid for who he is. Part of my journey has been learning that the body parts we are born with do not dictate what toys we choose, or how we see ourselves, or who we love. Our private body parts do not indicate whether we will wear boxers or briefs, girdles or garters, tuxedos or sparkles. It does not even predict our pronoun. Who would think that a seemingly harmless and simple question is actually not so simple? People often ask expectant parents, what are you having? Boy. What are you having? A girl. I never ask this question anymore. I think there's a lot of kids that are like Jake. I think there's more kids that are like Jake than, than people realize. And I think it's it's family and friends and media and and life that, that put the gender role in kids. Kids aren't born with the notion that men open doors and women cook cook dinners. Children are born with the need to help, to learn, to love, to play. That's what they're born with. It's not until society and people around them place these ideas in their head. And I think with parents, you just need to arm your kids with love and patience and understanding and just allow them to be what they want to be. If, if they want to wear a dress and go play hockey, like the only thing that's putting a label on that is society, that's, that's all it is.